Greetings YouTube and welcome back to the somewhat abusive relationship known as Prof Hoff Battles the 100 Premium Disappointment Crystal Challenge. Something that I enjoy, but uh, last time it broke my streak. I was going to have the first ever back-to-back -back of 2019 where I got the standard drop rate or better of three four-star crystals in 100 attempts. But sadly, we didn't get our number. You know, we, we got just two, which is fine, I guess. But, uh, you know, the streak was over. Can't uh, sugarcoat it. I was worried that these videos would not be interesting or enjoyable to people after... Act 6 came out and Cavalier was a possibility, but I received a ton of positive feedback from people who basically said, look, I'm not anywhere close to becoming uncollected, nevertheless Cavalier, and I love hoarding premiums as well and comparing my drop rates to yours. So that's been pretty encouraging. Uh, we have 70 of the crystal shard crystals and 30 of the fully formed, mostly thanks to the five-star featured arena. So as always, we're going to pop... 10 batches of 10 because ain't nobody got time to spin these things out and watch paint dry in the DMV. All right, so here we go. First 10. Can we get a four star right off the bat? Normally it's just two stars. We do have something that's miles better than a two star because it's a three star Miles Morales. But is there anything else hiding at the end of this to get excited about? The answer is no. Mostly it's just a generic roll of two-star toilet paper. Yuck. All right, well, let's see if we can bounce back with a four-star in our next batch of ten. Come on, Kabam gods. Give us a four-star. And we see, we see a three-star hood. Anything hiding down there? Uh, another Miles and a Wasp. All right, that doesn't bug me as much as two-stars. But still, no three-star. I mean, no no three-star, I mean no four-star. I should probably eat something soon. All right, here we go. This is about what you hope for. One four-star out of 30. So if we don't get a four-star here, we're starting to panic in terms of losing the drop rate battle again. And survey says I see a couple more three-stars, but then a couple two-star abominations. And another three-star, but no four-star. Okay. Panic is slightly ensuing. Keep in mind that we want that standard drop rate of approximately 3% for a 4-star. Even though <laughs> I've opened 12 of those new featured Cole Obsidian Cavalier Crystals and I received 0 5-stars in 12, even though the drop rate on those is 17%. Yeah, right. Not for me. All right. Come on. We need a 4-star here to have any chance, and we see nothing but 2-stars to start out. Come on. Something hiding down here. Hood again. Yuck. Well, sometime we could have a miracle finish. But right now we are 0 for 40. And that is just quite frankly a little depressing. All right, here we go. Can it end our curse? Or are we going to be 0 for 50? I see a three-star Iron Man Infinity War. Anything hiding down here? A red skull and an iron fist. And that is it. Zero four stars and 50. So many of you have told me that you haven't received a four star out of these in months, maybe even years. So you're looking at this being like, hey, Prof gets it. He gets why I put two lids over the bleach. All right, 20 more. Come on, show me a four star. I'm so ready to see one. And uh, we see a three star Loki, but two two star Black Panthers means there's one less down there. And oh for 60. Yikes. I'm just going to pop these 10. I've got little to no hope. And we see a couple more three stars, but that's not going to get the job done. Another three star and over 70. Unless we average one four star per 10, we are not only not getting the drop rate, but we are on pace to be shut out. This is like a free-to-play player's experience. And I mean, I don't spend a lot of credit on this game, but uh, definitely can't call myself free to play. All right, three more batches of 10. Come on, fully formed, five star arena, pay off. Yuck, is this gonna be a two star roll? There's a Drax. O oh, for 80. O oh, for freaking 80. 
At least we're getting some ISO, I guess. 20 left. Now I'm just hoping for one four star. That's how pathetic this opening is. We have a Magneto, but it's not a four star. And a Dormammu, not a four star. Oh, 0490. I don't know if I have ever had worse luck entering the last 10. If we're 0 for 100, this is the definition of premium disappointment depression. Last batch of 10. Come on. We start out with nothing but two stars. Are you going to end this on a two star roll? Three star Gwenpool. Three. Okay. Running three stars. We are 0 for 100, YouTube. I think the title of this video simply is going to be this is the definition of premium disappointment depression because we are 0 for 100. Our goal is three four stars. We didn't even get one four star. This is what so many of you tell me happens to you every time you open four stars, or should I say premiums looking for four stars. You barely get three stars, mostly just two stars. So I feel like I'm like you right now, which is not a good thing, I guess, <laughs> but it is a realistic thing. And hopefully, you know, if you're feeling generous and you want to hit that pity like, that's always appreciated because I was really hoping for some sort of chance at five star shards and we did not get any five star shards because there were no four stars to dupe just three and two stars so there you have it youtube are you out there like me have you experienced a historic drought this year despite the quote-unquote buffed drop rates of four stars and premium disappointment crystals or are you going to drop the mic on me and say haha Prof, I opened a 10 yesterday and I got 11 four stars. You suck. I'll be like, I don't know if that's scientifically possible, but uh, wouldn't be the first time someone's flexed like that on a comment section of a video for me. So there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching YouTube. I'm going to go uh, drown my sorrows in maybe some chocolate pudding.